Immediately after the Big Bang, at that precise instant, the universe expanded very rapidly. They say that this happened 10 to the minus 43 seconds after its creation, a decimal number so small as to be written with 43 zeros. And the expansion apparently lasted just 10 to the minus 35 seconds. In this unimaginably small amount of time, the universe expanded billions time, and many things happened. First of all, matter prevailed over antimatter. Initially, in fact, matter and antimatter, one the opposite of the other in terms of electric charge and in the way of twirling around themselves, lived together for a very short period of time. Not peacefully, to be honest. So much so that the particles of the one and of the other engaged a tough battle, annihilating each other. And this generated much confusion and freed a lot of energy. According to the laws of physics in our universe, the symmetry between matter and antimatter should be perfect. But it is not, and we do not even know how the symmetry was broken. Somehow, matter won. Only just, very little survived, but nevertheless enough to form, in the first few minutes following, the Big Bang, atoms, and then gradually also the stars, planet and galaxies, we ourselves, and all that we know. But this happened later, over the thousand, million and billions of years which followed, when the universe calmed down and started to expand more slowly. In short, if in the battle with antimatter, a bit of matter had not survived, there would be no stars and we would not exist. There would be nothing apart from light. But the disappearance of antimatter alone is not enough to explain the existence of the universe. Everything in the cosmos is moving at astonishing speeds. Besides being dragged into the relentless expansion of space, all celestial objects have some rotary motion. The Earth, and us with it, for example, rotates on its axis at as much as 1,700 km per hour, and around the Sun at a speed 60 times higher. Moreover, the entire solar system rotates at the speed of 792,000 km per hour around the center of the galaxy. And not only our solar system, the 200 billion stars in the galaxy with their planets and satellites are moving at the same speed. But how do they avoid dispersing with all this centrifugal force? Is the attraction of gravity between the stars sufficient to keep them together? Physicists have calculated it. The stars and the galaxies, as numerous as they are, are not sufficient to justify the cohesion. They should be many more. Moreover, if there were only stars, the further from the center of the galaxy should move slower than those which are closer, as required by Kepler's law. Instead, they rotate at the same speed, as if something was accelerating them, something invisible and little known that we have called dark matter. There are several indications of its existence, almost all related to its gravitational effects. This has allowed us to calculate how much dark matter there is in the universe. It is six times more abundant than normal matter. But even so, things do not add up, because matter and dark matter together explain only 26% of universe. A form of energy even more mysterious than dark matter would seem to dominate the expansion of the cosmos. Dark energy, 74% of everything. But that's another story. 